Hey guys, it's Deb again with Art and Grace. I had a terrible connection, so I got out, turned off my Wi-Fi, I got back in, so we'll see if this works. Hopefully, things are gonna be better, so let me be sure that I'm coming up over here in the group. Is anybody with me? If you're here watching, please let me know. Um, I wanna be sure this is working before I get into things. So hopefully you can see me and hear me okay and there won't be glitches. Anybody here? Throw up a heart or a comment so I know if we're working. I hate technology, or I hate um, internet. It's so wishy-washy. Okay, good, hi Donna. Hey Heather, how are you? Glad you're here. Okay, hopefully this will work. If for any reason I go out again, I'll do the same. I'll go out and get back in. But I wanna get going painting these ceramic trucks. I'm so excited. So how many of you just throw up a heart if you have ever painted anything ceramic? Hi Tracy, how are you girl? Hope you feel better. Hi Missy, I'm glad you're here Missy. Has anybody ever painted a ceramic truck or tree or anything, anything ceramic? Hi Tammy, glad you're back. <laughs> Had technical difficulties. Sorry guys that I'm a little late getting started. Internet is um, kind of shoddy. Hi Lana, how are you? Tammy, good to see you this morning, virtually. That's what I like about these um, online paint parties is we can at least interact and you know, we know we're doing something together even though it's through the internet, so. You have many years ago, Donna? Okay. Well, I think that this is going to be super easy. Maybe even easier than before. I don't know how it used to be, but... Oh, good, Tracy. You feel good. I'm so glad. You did, Deborah? Okay. So, what'd you paint? Did you do a tree or, like, little knickknacks? What was it? Ooh, Heather, a doll from Japan. That is so cool. I bet it was fragile. Was it some of that really fragile ceramic, um, it's almost like China almost. You did, Lana? So this is, the, the trucks and trees last year that I did are the first I've ever done and I'm hooked. They're so fun. Oh, you have, Tammy? Cool. Um, I have a friend that has a collection. She's got trees like in her foyer at Christmas. She puts them out and I bet she has 20, 25. So I think she, hey Jamie, glad you're back on. I think she um, has gotten them from family members and also just at, you know, yard sales or something, she'll pick one up. And it's a beautiful collection. So if you have room, it's really cool. Oh, my light's going out. I wish it would not do that. You see the blinking in the darkness? Maybe it'll stay on. Used to do, oh, I love that, Mary. My grandma's what got me on ceramics. I mean, she did the trees back in, I guess, the 70s. And um, so we all got a tree from her, my mom, my brother, and I. And I have two of them. I have my mom's and I have mine. So I love, love them. Yeah, Donna, yes, I know. I um, have really been writing out plans for a bunch of easy DIYs for this fall and Christmas because none of us have money. This is a tight year, I think, for almost everybody. And um, there are so many cute things you can do. And I'm talking dollars, like $3, and it looks cute in the end. So um, if you're following my page, hi, Jamie from Cincinnati, glad you're watching. Where is everybody from? I know a lot of y'all have told me, but you know, I don't remember. So tell me where everybody's from. I'd love to know. But yes, so we'll be having a lot of little cute, easy DIYs um, you can give as gifts or use on your tree or use in your decor. I know tear trays are big, and so I'll be making some of those. So I think um, you'll see a lot of more handmade things this year because we're all looking for ways to save money. You have, Deborah. That's what a special gift. I was thinking that too, that these trucks, you know, uh, and trees too, they are special. Donna is in Colorado. And I know Jamie's in Cincinnati. Um, hey, Beth from Tennessee, Elizabethtown, Tennessee. My brother's in Murfreesboro. Is that anywhere in the vicinity? Or And Deborah, you're in Pennsylvania. Yeah, Missy. Um, okay, well, is anybody painting today? If you're painting a ceramic something, let me know. Just like 
type yes I'm painting or whatever so I'll know that you're painting. I left my little um, palette. Let me get it real fast. It's right here. Linda from Ohio. Did you know that Jamie's from Ohio too? Oh, it's five hours, Beth. That's a long way. Well, I've got to go see him. I mean, Tennessee is so beautiful and he lives right by Nashville and he's lived there for several years. I mean, a long time and I have never made the trip. It's a long trip and I always had my mom to think about. So, um, but now it's time I need to go see him and, and um, I think it'd be fun. So is nobody painting today? I mean, that's perfectly fine because I think you'll see how easy this is if you've not painted before. And um, you can always do one later, closer to Christmas, or if you just decide today, like, wow, yeah, I can do that. Then let me know and I'll hook you up. Oh, Liverpool, Ohio. I haven't heard of Liverpool, Ohio, I don't think. Sandman canvas board for a paint. Okay, cool. A daycare. So, Missy, I guess I hadn't thought about that. Daycares are up and running. Yeah, I bet it is, Beth. I mean, the trees. Oh. Here in Texas, where I'm at, we're in a suburb, and you just, there's hardly any trees. It's really kind of sad. Oh, Nidra, I'm so sorry. Well, you can watch the replay for sure. Deborah Cross, you're waiting on a grandchild to come do ornaments. That is so fun. I can't wait for that day to get to make, you know, crafts and paint and teach my little grandkids anything. Oh, how fun. <laughs> Linda, what kind of dog do you have? I have a boxer. You know, um, some of you know that my little pug we had for... Gosh, I think we decided 17 years. He was either 16 or 17. Um, he passed away a week or two ago. And my dog has been depressed, my boxer. Um, she really has shown the signs of being sad. Have y'all ever had a, a pet die and then the other one was showed those sad, sad, just laying around mopey and just not herself? She's getting back to normal though, but I'm looking to see where you guys are from. I love it. Oh, wow, Donna, 31 years in Dallas. My son is in um, Addison. So is that anywhere near where you were, Donna? I know Dallas is so big and there's so many little towns off of it. Oh, Linda. I love little disabled dogs of any kind. I mean, they're so sweet and they definitely need the extra love. So that's cool. My boxer, she's a mess. She is, she's cal actually calmed way down now that we don't have the pug. Um, I don't know. My, I don't know what caused her to calm it down a little bit, but she did. Yeah, Mesquite's not that far. Anybody else popping on here that wants to tell me where you're from and if you're painting? Are you painting a ceramic today? Or are you just watching and seeing what you think? Let me know. So I'm going to turn you down so that you can see the actual truck and what I'm going to do. Yeah, Deborah, they, it is sad. They do become like a family member, don't they? A long-haired weenie dog. Do they shed, Tracy? Because that was the one thing that I will not miss about my pug is he shed so bad. Oh, yeah, it's hard when pets die. Yes, Rita is in Florida. Lucky girl, all that sunshine. I know, Chrissy, I'm glad you found me. Um, I am live in the Christmas and July group, correct? Oh good, they don't shed. Well, I, I know a, um, what is it, a golden doodle? Is it supposed to shed a lot? Oh, Aunt Mary, I didn't know you lived in Tennessee. 
Okay, so girls, I'm gonna turn you down and you can watch kind of um, the actual process instead of looking at me. So let me get you where I think you'll have a good view. Can you see the truck good? If you guys will throw up hearts, I can't read very well from this angle, but I can see if you can see good, just throw up a heart. And then I know that you can see the truck in your view. I know there's a delay too, so. I've got my laptop pulled up, so hopefully I can try to keep up with your comments. Oh, look, Jeanette's from California. It's sunny, beautiful California. Okay, guys. So I'm gonna show you just how easy this is. You're gonna be surprised. I'm gonna move your comments out of the way for now so I, can, I can't see them, but at least I can see the screen better. So the first thing I do when I am working with these trees is I'll make sure that it is um, smooth. I mean, as, I don't mean smooth, smooth, but like I wanna get out any super rough patches. So I'll just kind of take a, the finest sandpaper I can find but I also will use a nail file because these are very gentle and just kind of smooth out any of the really rough areas if they missed them. It doesn't hurt to not do it. I've done several that I didn't do this to and honestly, I didn't really notice a big difference, but since I'm here and I'm teaching, I wanna show you, you know, the more proper way if you're gonna do it from start to finish. And then I'll take a paper towel and just get away that fine sand that comes from that. And then I have learned to put, I didn't bring one today, but to put a towel down so that it's a really soft surface. So what I'm gonna do, I'll grab um, a little bit of bubble wrap. These trucks are, um, they're very breakable. They really are. So um, keep a hand on it at all times. You don't want to just leave it sit. It could topple over and just that little topple on the table could break it. So I'm going to do the bottom. You can do it any color you want. I will usually do it with black. Um, and I'll show you, I just squirt it right on there. and then take any brush you have is fine. I will grab one of the bigger ones that I have. This is a, looks like a three quarter inch flat brush. And I'm just gonna use that since I have it handy. You can use, if you ordered a kit, use whatever I put in there, but um, you know, you can get a lot done with just a big brush, obviously. Cover a lot of surface. So just goes on that easy. Just put on that base coat. This is really only um, if somebody, you know, was looking at it, turned it over, wanted to see. So I just kind of give it a clean look, but it's an extra step. You don't have to do if you don't want to. Of course, the tires are gonna be black, so I'm not trying to be super neat or anything because I know I'll get those tires too. Are you guys enjoying the Christmas in July? Have y'all done some of the projects? And let's see, Michelle's was yesterday. It was fantastic. Um, anybody do that one? I think, I think I'll be able to see your comments. Yeah, I moved it back so I can see. Did anybody do the, the beautiful one from yesterday, Sunday that Michelle did? Marty, aren't you? There's so many, oh, so many good ideas. And a lot of them, I, I don't know the way my mind works. I'll see something and go, ooh, I'm gonna make a card out of that. Or, ooh, I'm gonna put that on a tiny piece of wood. You know, just 
I'm always thinking, you know, what can I do with that? So maybe I don't want a big canvas of it, but I will use it because great ideas and great artwork and very nice for everybody to share. I know um, that Jamie explained, but when people do share their things, um, be sure and ask permission if you are going to um, use it in any other way besides just at your home for your own enjoyment. Rita, I know I've seen you um, painting some things. I love seeing what you guys do. If you painted my truck the other day, the, um, the truck and tree, be sure and put that on my post. It's a specific post that says truck parade, I think, in unit 15. I wanna feature all those photos and so be sure and put it there. So I'm just kind of going around and getting the black on the base of the truck. Like I said, you can paint it any color. If you want to color it the color of your truck, you can. If you want to leave it white, that is perfectly fine. This is only to make it, you know, more put together looking um, in case somebody turns it over and looks at it. If I was going to sell it, I would paint the bottom. If it was for my house, I wouldn't. This is called ceramic bisque and it takes the paint really well and it doesn't take long to dry. Don't put it on too thick um, and then it dries pretty quick. Oh, Tracy, you're on vacation and not painting. Yeah, I don't blame you. We, everybody needs a break. I mean, from whatever you do. So this is your full-time job, so you do need a break from it. I usually, I just can't, I usually pack up my stuff and take it with me wherever I go. At least some, not a full. But I, especially we like to go to places like Riadosa because it's very close, you know, not very close, but it's an easy drive and I love being out in nature. Like that's my happy place. So um, get in with the big tall trees and the crisp air and paint, draw, just, read, all that stuff. Okay, so the bottom of the truck is done for all practical purposes. And you see that I do have it on top of some bubble wrap, so leave a towel down or something that you can have as a buffer um, and that'll really help. I'm reading comments, trying to see some. Ooh, Donna, you went to the mountains, how nice. Yeah, don't you think getting out to the mountains where you get that crisp air and beautiful views, isn't it kind of healing and just kind of helpful? It clears your mind of all the clutter. Okay. I would normally let this dry, but since we're doing this live, I'm not going to. I'm just gonna put it right down and start painting the top part. You know, this is a windshield. It's gonna be like a white or a gray or whatever. So I'm gonna start on just the truck with my, I'm doing blue for mine. If you plan on painting one of these, tell me what color you're painting it. You see how good that paint goes on there? It just glides over. These are really good quality ceramics that I get, um, and they are made here in the US. I love this company. I did receive a bunch of them broken, so when I got my order in, I was so excited, and then I actually didn't even open it right away, but when I did and started taking them out, um, I had a lot broken, so I called them and they immediately shipped more to me and this time they came like It was almost a joke like double triple wrapped So it took me a while to get them unboxed and checked 
and um, but I did the ones that I mailed out to y'all I just really did a, the best job I could wrapping really well and packing really tight so they should come good but they are ceramic so they are breakable so I just keep kind of going over be very careful when you're handling them you really don't want kids handling them teenagers yes but not kids they're not toys and that's hard for them because they look like toys don't they I love this blue color and for fall I'm going to incorporate a little bit of blue into my fall this year so this is going to be perfect and then of course this will be wonderful for 4th of July and other things just summertime but lemons or straw um, strawberries or watermelon all kinds of stuff would be cute in the back y'all gave me a lot of ideas of things to put in the back if y'all thought of any more, tell me. Deborah Cross, I do too. I need a vacation as well. Is anybody taking a vacation soon? I know Tracy's on one, but who else is looking forward to a getaway? Know a lot of people are staying put, but but I've seen a lot that are going somewhere. Can y'all hear my boxer? Thank you, honey. I just got a special delivery. It's a, a big Coke from Chick-fil-A. I treat myself with a Coke sometimes. I know it's not diet. It should be, but I just can't, I can't do it. So I'm really just getting this whole base painted in its, you know, um, truck color, what it's gonna be. And I'll show you how we go back and age it and make it look the way we want. Some of them I don't age, some of them I leave because I really like the pretty colors. Um, and this one, I don't know, I may not age it very much because I really like this pretty blue. I want to be sure y'all can see what I'm doing. Oh, Marty, that's so awesome. You've earned it, Ben. She's retired and on a forever vacation. That's great. You can see I'm having still a little internet issue. It just kind of went out and back in. I don't know what's going on. Maybe the time of day and a minute ago we were it was cloudy and I seriously I don't know what the deal is but when it's cloudy here sometimes my internet acts up I don't I can't imagine what the connection would be between that if you guys know if there's any internet people that know about that kind of stuff I'd love to know I'm just out of curiosity see how I got that little blue right there no big deal I'll go right back over it if I had a baby wipe, I would take that baby wipe and, you know, rub it off and it would probably come right off, but that's okay. The wheels are gonna be black, so I'll paint those black and then this I'll paint silver, but anyway, it's, if you mess up, it's not a problem. It's just paint. Once it dries, we can paint right back over it. So you can see we've almost, you know, we've got the half of it done already. Oh, Marty, red Hallmark Christmas truck, cute. So what do y'all think I should put in the back or what, what would you put in the back? Greenery is what comes to mind. I always put greenery and stuff like that, but there, I know there's a lot of other cute things to put back there. And also when you're painting these, if you don't love the color 
that you know that it's looking on the truck um, you can mix mix a little black to darken it up or mix a little white to lighten it up you could add a little red to make it more purple I mean you know there's so many ways you can change your color just by mixing so um, if you ever need help with that let me know of course there's always things you can Google about color mixing and I um, I told if any of you happened to see my video last night I apologize how, how emotional I got um, I think when it gets around times for um, anniversaries with my mom's passing I get sad and I don't even know it like I didn't realize I was going to get emotional but talking about her um, kind of got to me so I had a rough time explaining um, about my membership that I've started but I have started a little membership where I'm gonna be doing tutorials like this and and like art and other easy DIY crafts and um, then I'm gonna have a guest artist every month that'll be teaching something as well so you don't just get my things but you're gonna get lots of other designs from other people um, we're gonna have a time each month where we get together and do a live paint party so you can join live and paint with us or you can watch the replay and paint to that um, I'm also gonna be all the time like during the week just giving lots of tips and tricks and show you how to color mix and show you how to make a certain thing um, maybe do a mini like a small painting or paint something on wood that's you know small and easy not everything's gonna be a big canvas it's sometimes it'll be on wood sometimes it'll be on glass I painted some wine glasses um, I guess it's been six months or so and they turned out so cute I did it for an event that I went to and and took so anyway there's a lot of stuff that's inside that membership and I talked about that in my video but while I am fresh today and not as emotional then I thought I'd mention it again and just say you know if you want more information I'd love to, to give you I've got a an email that explains everything um, exactly what you get and it's only 22 a month for founding members which means this week that we're in right now if you join you're a founding member you're getting in on the ground floor when we start it so your price would be 22 and it will never go up so in if you still love it in three years and you still a part of it you're still at 22 even though the price has gone up the price will go up August 22nd that's the actual launch day to the public so on that day it will go up so if you think this is something you might like and you want more information let me know um, if you're like heck yeah I mean one paint party alone is $35 so just for the one paint party a month on doing a current trendy you know uh, piece of art that's worth the the membership price right there also founding members get a free kit from me this is just my gift to you um, to say thank you for starting with me and it's gonna have um, you know a sketch a, not a sketchbook but a mixed media pad so that you can paint in that and then some paints and some brushes and just things you need to get started and that that is just on me that's my gift because I you know I appreciate anybody who supports me and I know that all of our money is important and it's hard to come by so you know if you want to join in with me now then I'm gonna send that to you And you see I'm not being super careful I'm just kind of and I'm still using my big brush just because I can get a lot of paint on there quickly um, when I want to be more careful I will move to my smaller brush oh this is my favorite brush to put on and I had it sitting over here and forgot it's a chip brush you can get these at Walmart or um, Michaels probably the dollar store you know just a small chip brush and this is a half inch but they do have one inch and you can slap that paint on there with these two so when I get to smaller places I'll switch to this little small flat brush 
and be a little more careful. So I like this color of blue. It's got great coverage. Let me show you. It is Deco Art Americana and it's called Primary Blue. And it looked a little light to me, so I did add just a dot of black to darken it up a little. Um, and so now I think it's perfect. I'm just kind of going back and hitting places that I missed a little bit. But you guys see how, did you hear my bubble wrap pop? You see how easy these come together and just, that's why I say teenagers can do them. I would say children can do them, but they're so breakable. I really probably wouldn't do that, but y'all know your kids and if they can handle it, do it. But I think they make such a nice gift because these are so much better quality than what you can get um, just at regular stores. You know, um, places like Walmart, discount stores, they have them, but they're not good quality. I've had some, I've bought some, um, and they're not good quality. Some of them are resin and not even ceramic. So when you purchase one of these, you know you're getting a really good quality, well-made item that you can pass down if you want to. Okay, so we've got our first base coat of that truck on and I'm going to go to do, um, you know, and one other thing I usually do is I'll put just a little bit of whatever color I'm doing the truck, I'll put a little bit up in here and I'll show you why later. It looks silly right now, but you'll see. So I'll just put a little bit of that blue up in here, like that. I'm gonna clean off my brush. How are you guys doing? Oh, thank you, Martha. I love my bracelet too. My sweet, my son's girlfriend gave it to me and I just love it. I always think of her when I wear it. Chrissy, yes, I think I think it makes such a good gift. And the fact that, you know, you made it or painted it for them, oh, I mean, that would just mean so much. So much more than just buying one at Walmart or somewhere. Um, for my windshield, I'm gonna mix a little bit of white and, and black and make a, a light gray. You can also, um, if you wanted to do a little bit of a blue, you could. So let me see, can you see? I'm just gonna take a little white and pop it here. I'm gonna do a little more since I've got several windshields. And then just the smallest bit of black. Can you see that? It's a very small amount on my brush. You start small because it really doesn't take a lot. And as you can see, it's already probably gonna be perfect. I like that color it's um and since I, my truck is blue i can also add just a dot of that blue tiny bit and put that in there and it'll give it a real cool it'll be a cool gray which will be pretty but i say use what you have you know i i like to mix colors um and get what i what i want so So again, going into this window. Oh, hold on, Susan, you're at the DMV? How funny. <laughs> that's, what a great way to pass the time because that's not a fun place to wait. So they may call your name and you'll be like, oh man, I wanted to see that. Isn't that a good windshield color? Might be just a tad too blue, but I like it. I'm gonna leave it. I could add a little, you know, a little more white and I'm painting at a funny angle, but I want you guys to be able to see how well this paint goes on because they're, you know, quality ceramics. 
if anybody, um, now that you're seeing how easy it is and you, you know, decide, hey, I might like to make those for gifts, let me know. I have given everybody in here the opportunity to get one at a special price. Um, when I am outside of this group and closer to Christmas, they go way up because they are expensive and they're very expensive to ship. They're, they cost me about $18 to ship. Um, so if you're thinking about getting one, now's the time. And you can, you can message me. Just drop in the comment, you know, interested in truck or something and I'll send you some information. Just move into the next window. When I paint, I do try to go the way, you know, side to side like this. To get up in the corner, I may have to go like this and turn my brush. But. Since I can't see all of your comments, be sure and leave me um, any questions or any anything I can help you with, um, and I will look at them later and respond to them. And if for any reason I miss one, you just text me or message me and I'll, I'll answer you. I'm gonna have to mix up a little more windshield paint. So again, I'm gonna take that white, just a tiny dot of black, not much. a really light gray. I'm going to go back in just another. It's so much easier to add more. If you get too much black in there, you've ruined the whole batch. Then you have to add way more white to get it back to a light gray. So start small. And then I'm going to barely put a little blue. Hi, Mary and hi, Jeanette. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll message you. Um, they are so much fun to do. So now I've got one, two, three. I've done four. Um, yet last night, did you see my leopard print? If you saw that leopard print, I want to know what you think because I'm still on the fence. I think it'd be super cute for some decor, and I think it'd be super cute for a boutique to have it on their counter, maybe put pins or... Um, business cards or something. I think there's places that it would be so cute. A bathroom maybe if you have leopard print. Um, I'm just, you know, I'm kind of on the fence. I want to know what everybody else thinks about leopard print. I do love leopard print though. So that's good on the window. Um, I'll come back around and um, paint that very edge right there. But is anybody surprised how easy they are to paint, how well it goes on and just kind of, it's pretty quick too. If I wasn't talking, I would be a lot quicker, but I'm talking, I'm kind of looking at the comments as I can and that takes time. Hey, Sarah, what is Grumpy? Is that a restaurant? 
I always taught my paint parties at a place here in my town called Grumps. It's a burger place and it was so fun. I really, really miss the in-person parties, but doing things like what we're doing today is so helpful because um, we need each other. We need to do things together and talk. And even if it's virtually through, um, you know, messages like this or text or whatever, it's better than nothing and we are having fun and we're doing something together. So I think we just have to learn to pivot and do what we can do to stay connected with people. And so yeah, these, these events are a lot of fun. I'm turning it on its side, carefully keeping a hand on it the whole time. I'm not gonna let it go. And then I'm gonna do the tires. I always do up under, what do you call this, y'all? The Under the fender, maybe? I'm not sure, but I always do this black. I've tried it different colors and I think black looks the best or or just like a charcoal even. But you know, if you look under a truck, it's dirty and yucky. So it's, it's just what I think looks good, having just a black. You know, when you get your truck, you can do whatever you want. If you want to put, um, like I did the leopard print, you could put stars all over it. You could put anything. What are some things you could put? You know, if you've got a kitchen that's got lemons in it, you could do little lemons on it. There's so many things you could do. If you had a little girl and you wanted a little night light, you could do it in all of her colors and... Um, put night light or you know lights all in the back and I'm just reading some comments okay guys you guys that are interested in the truck I'll get with you after this and give you a deal So just getting some black slapped on these tires. We'll go back and make them look um, a little worn if you want to. You, you know, you don't have to do yours that way. But. And this truck is so pretty. I'm almost thinking it's almost a classy look. I don't know how worn I'll make mine. I may not, I don't know, I'm just gonna see. You know what else would be cute, guys? If you have a teacher in your life you wanted to do one for, you could make it um, like a school bus yellow and put an apple right here with her name on it. You could put crayons or a banner. And then in the back, she could put some of her school supplies, like, you know, even like a, a little thing of foam that flowers will sit in. And then she could put her pencils and who knows what. That would be really cute. Does anybody know of a teacher that that would be cute for? Also, I um, paint these for people. So if you are like, yeah, I would love that, but you're like, nah, I don't want to do it. I don't have time. Then message me and I can do you one. Man, I love painting them. I can paint them all day long. Coming together, getting those tires done. Butterflies would be pretty. Wheel well, that's it, Sarah. Yeah, what did I call it? I think I've also called it undercarriage. I don't know, whatever this is under here. My sweet granddad was a mechanic. I should know. And I loved him so much, and he was one of the finest men I've ever known. Um, but because I loved him so much, I wanted to be a mechanic when I was young. I thought, that's what I'm gonna do, just like my granddad. Of course, I got over that once I grew up. Yeah. 
ladies, when you're painting these at home, um, you can, you know, do do a wheel or two and let it dry. You don't have to, I'm just going nonstop and not letting anything dry. I'm just moving to the next. But you can take your time, um, paint more carefully if you want, and let things dry in between. I'm just want to get it done so you can see the whole process and that you see how fast it comes together. Ooh, big fuchsia flowers, Sarah. Totally. I love that. Oh, yes. Hold jewelry bracelets. See, that's a good idea. I love that. I love that. Oh, I just dipped in my black bag. Yeah, that's what I need. I'm doing tires. Yeah, that's really cute. I may have to do that. I love navy and, and pink. Glitter paint? Where would you put the glitter paint? You know what else navy would be cute for um, military? So if somebody had a, somebody in the military they wanted to paint one for and put a symbol here or their name, years that they served, a lot of things. Oh, that'd be nice. And then you could, have, if it was say for a, a father, you wanted to put years he served, and then he could put, you know, his wallet and keys in the back. Of course, I would put down something so that he doesn't drop his keys in there and break it. But cute. Okay. Now I'm going to turn it to the front, and I'm going to put some black up in here. So you're just kind of adding um, the colors that you use all up, or this is how I do it. If you want a really nice solid silver bumper, like a, you know, a new car would have or a new truck, then you do that. But this is just how I do mine. It's gonna have silver, but I kind of dirty it up. As you can see, imperfect, just getting some paint on there. Back bumper, same thing. You can either have it all silver or like what I do, the kind of dirtying it up. Then I also will go, do you see the cracks? You see the cracks that are in the truck, the way it's made? I will usually put black up in here and it kind of antiques it a little bit. I love this so much, I don't know. I'm not gonna do very much, I don't think, because I really like this classy look that it has right now. But I'm gonna do some just to show you. So I would take and get my brush, you know, pretty, pretty thin and then run it just alongside the little line. So everywhere there's one of the little lines, I would take my brush and I'm going to just dip into the water and then get it kind of flat again and keep going. I'm not going to put more black on it. I'm just going to see 
I can go keep going. Yeah, and that gives it plenty. You guys still with me? Throw up some hearts so I can see if you're still there. Thanks, Chrissy. US, yeah, Air Force Colors, that's right. Um, in On the black truck, I put, um, let me think, I think I put some gray, actually, I don't know that I did um, on my black truck that I just did the leopard print on, I don't think I did anything in those cracks. You could put some, what I call charcoal, so not gray, but like take your black and add just a tiny, tiny bit of white to get a little bit lighter black, which is like a charcoal, and you could put that in there. Or um, sometimes I will, like on these white ones, I love, and this aqua one, I love the rusty look. So I'll put brown, see the brown in there? and silver. I'll just kind of mix the brown and silver both, use both of those. See the front? It's got some brown, lots of silver. So these are your, yours. So if you like that rusty, rusty look, add some browns and silvers and copper even. And if not, just add a little bit of black like I'm doing. And this is really wet and I'm getting a, a big line. So you could take a baby wipe and just wipe it and soften it up. Just removes just enough to soften it up. Usually go along all the windows like that and you'll see why I'm gonna cover it back up. But I kinda run some black along all that. Or brown, you could use brown if you chose. Anybody else have any questions that I haven't missed? If, thanks Marty, thank you guys for staying with me because I know this is a long tutorial. Um, thanks Sarah. Sunflowers would be pretty in that navy, wouldn't it? Oh, thanks Melissa. All my Christmas stuff, I did pull some of it out. If I've missed any of your questions, Type them again and I'll try to try to see them. But of course I will go back and answer anything I miss. Okay, so I think for me, I'm good on the little bit of black that I wanted on there. And then I am gonna go back and kind of touch up these windows. So what I do, like on this one, you see I went around with some black and a little bit of gray. You can use brown, you could use copper, you can just, you know, anything you want to make it look dirty. That's what I did. And if you guys wanna see any of my other ones again, let me know and I'll hold them up. Thanks, Sarah. I'm gonna go to my smallest brush now that I have out and pick up some of this navy and kind of go back around, closer around these areas that don't have paint. at a weird angle here so that you guys can see <coughs> excuse me Donna I do I'll have to get it it's in my cabinet um, I did a 
I, I wouldn't say it's red, red. It's maroon because I did an A&M one last year because both my kids went to A&M. Um, but I'll show you that one. I might just paint me a red one next. We always had my grandma, I told you she made the Christmas trees and she also made um, a little Santa that had a, you know, a hole in the back kind of like this and she always had candy canes. So put some, you know, a little jar in here and then have the candy canes, that'd be super cute. Okay, so let me be sure I got all the blue around my windows. No, I missed that. So I guess um, you don't have to get everything perfect your first pass. As you see, I go back and I'll, you know, touch up where I missed or where I want more of something. Paint is very forgiving. So once it dries, you can paint right over it. Um, you can paint white or gray to cover something up and then go right back over it with what you actually want. Chalk paint is a really good cover. It gives good coverage. I did have the idea of painting one of these all in chalk, like, you know, for a teacher and she could write on it. That'd be cute. Too much time or too many ideas and not enough time. Oh, Rita, um, I'll message you and, and let you know when I get done with this. I'll, I'll let you know. Okay. Now I'm going to start with some silver and do my front and my fender and my tire, the middle of the tires, the tire rims. So again, I'm gonna mix. I'm gonna take some white. I don't know why I moved it. I could have used that little well. And then a little black. If you've already ordered a kit from me, you have a really pretty silver, shimmery silver. I would go ahead and use just like this black and white to get a gray first and get that down and then put that silver on top of it so it's even, it gives better coverage, it's shinier, it's really pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna take some of this kind of gray and go in here. And where this gray is is where I'll have a lot of silver, that silver shiny I was talking about. Try not to cover all my other messy colors I've got, like the black. You can use your little round brush if that's easier for you. If you want to get fancy, you can type or uh, write on your license plate. You could put last name, first name, year, 2020. You could put anything you wanted. Remember I made the color for the windshield? Right then I should have painted my, my lights and I just forgot, so I'm gonna go back into that color. It's got the, like here's my gray, you see? And then this is the one, it's lighter, and it has a little blue in it, just a tad of blue. So that's what I'm gonna use for my, my lights. But you could do those yellow, gold, whatever.
you'll see this covers that blue right up. So don't stress when you make a mistake because it can all be covered with paint. We don't have any lights back there, so I don't need it for that. Thanks, Melissa. You know, I, I just like to, I get it in my head. I'm like, ooh, I'd like a navy. So then I gotta do a navy. Okay, so I'm gonna go back and grab that gray and put some back here. I'll use that silver shimmery color too back here. And remember, I was saying earlier for you new ones that got on, um, if you're seeing this and you decide, yeah, I want to paint one, those look easy, I like that, um, then let me know. I sell them plain, just by themselves, or as a kit where you get all the paints you need. Um, or I also paint them and sell them if you don't feel like painting it yourself. I'm gonna wrap this bumper around here or whatever it's called. So since I added a lot of silver, I'm gonna go back and just probably touch just a little bit. I'm just gonna go right into my black and not worry about my brush. I'm not gonna. Just kind of make it messy. Just keep adding whatever you want till it looks like what you like on the fender. You can make this all silver. You can make it all black. You can put some brown for rust or some bronze, copper. You know, you can do a lot with these just depending on the look you like. I'll actually, since I've got it sitting here, it's a really pretty bright copper. And I'm gonna put some of this in here so you can see how that changes just enough that it's really pretty. And then I'll take this and just kind of, I don't want it, you know, you want it muted. You don't want it super bright and shiny and like it's fresh. You want it to look old. And that that color is also really pretty if you want to make it really antique looking up here, but I don't. I want to keep mine really nice. Yes, Tammy, cute for 4th of July. Oh, flags. See, you could put a piece of foam back here and then stick some flags. That's adorable. And this is such a good big size. It's 13 inches length. So you could put this on a cute table, like a bistro table on your porch or, you know, I would, that would be really cute to have the flags in it. I'm telling you, you guys have great ideas, things that I don't think of. Okay, so I'm gonna go back and do my, um, what are these called? Rims or wheels? You see that I'm never letting my truck go. I, keep a really good grip on it so it doesn't fall and crack or anything. I think I'm going to need to mix up a little more of that gray. And I'm putting just a base coat of this gray on here, but I am going to go back over it with that shiny silver um, and make it really pretty shiny. And then I go back and kind of dirty it up. So it's a process to get these painted, but I'm always happy with the end. It's worth the steps that it takes. I don't worry if I make a mistake like that because I'm gonna clean it. 
the very last thing I do is kind of go around cleaning up anything like that that I don't like or messed up. Some people leave it. I have seen some where, you know, it's just kind of a messy look and it's still cute. Remember this from earlier? That little mistake, it's gonna get covered right up with this paint. I always use Deco Art paint and it has great coverage and goes on smooth. I've never had any problems. I don't get paid by Deco Art. I don't have any kind of relationship with them. I just, um, I like the paint. So then I'm going to take my little brush, my little, it's a little round brush, just a small round, and go back and cover up anything I messed up on on that. I think this would be fun to do as a family. Like if you do have older kids, you know, sometimes you're like, well, what are we gonna do, watch a movie? But sometimes maybe do something like this together and everybody get, you will, it's so fun because nobody looks at their phone because they're actually creating something. So that's a good thing about it is you're doing something together. You can laugh and talk and um, no phones, no computers. And that's hard to do these days, isn't it? out my brush just washing it in some water drying it on a paper towel and then I'm gonna go back around these windows add more navy I'm going to add some of that shiny silver. Yeah, um, is it Elia? Ilya? Ilya? I'm sorry, I don't know how to say your name. Ilya? Um, I, I do have that. In fact, that's the one I'm going to show that I did last year. It does have the Christmas tree in the back. And that's why I had a fit when I saw these. Because I do love the Christmas ones. And I will use it every year. But... This I can use year round, just changing out what's in the bag. So I think it's really cool. Oh, Debbie, you got your truck. Yay. So this is the silver that I like for um, bumpers and the wheel wheels. It's Americana Meta Deco Art Metallic. Silver, yeah, just silver.
you see. I don't know how well this will pick up, but it's a real pretty shimmery silver. And I try to kind of turn my brush to the side and just put some on there. I don't want it perfect because it's an old truck that some of it would be coming off by now. Now you may choose to use all silver and do it solid. I've done I've done them all kind of ways, so you you know what I do or what I recommend, just just that. It's just my opinion. So you do what you like and what looks good to you. Maybe your granddad had one and you want it to look just like that, or maybe you want it to look brand new. That's cool. Now, um, in a new truck these little raised parts would have been this silver for sure. So I'm gonna go and be sure I hit those with it. If, um, if you get to, you know, um, thinking about doing this and you want tips on or help on picking colors or you saw a color I used and you want to know what it is, let me know. Just send me a message and I'll, I'll get you names or help you pick. Okay, so that's good for me. See how it really starts coming together once you get all the details. Oh, Debbie, how funny. You know why I did? Because they, they, so many came broken to me. So I took those puppies out of how they had done it and I did it better. <laughs> and so, yeah, there's a lot of bubble wrap and a lot of tape and I was like, they are not gonna get these broken because that is such a disappointment when you're excited to do something and then you receive it broken. And I know, you know, I've seen the videos on YouTube of how our mail <laughs> is treated. So, you know, there's, it's not the company's fault. I think a lot of times they just get thrown around and um, lots of stuff put on top of them. But I, I did try real hard to Oops, I dipped it into the blue, not even meaning to. Now, if I had a baby wipe, it'd wipe right off, which I would love. I actually kind of like that. I'm going to leave it. But I will go back in a little black. You can water down. You know, you, you can use a little watery black so that it's not super harsh. And just kind of go back in and, and then take your finger and rub. You know, just put it where you want it to get the. Now I'm gonna do the wheels with that pretty silver. Hey Jeannie, how are you today? Oh, thanks Tammy. Yeah, me too Marty. Like I said, my granddad had one when I was growing up. Man, what I would give for that truck. Not for the monetary value, just because it's, I think that's why I love these so much. It just, it's like, oh, you know, nostalgia for the good old days and fun days of being a kid with your grandparents. And such a simpler time, wasn't it? Now I know they were hard on them because they did survive the depression. So that wasn't good old days. I'm sure those were, well, I know they were very hard days, but when you're a kid and you don't know all that, you just see it as great, great, good, happy memories.
Now, I'm going to show you what I do on top of this because this looks really pretty and shiny. So you can leave it like that if you like. But I will usually dirty them up. Now I'm not gonna do this blue one as much as I did this, but um, you can see that looks like it's been through a lot and been sitting by a barn out in the weather. So for this one, I'm not gonna do that much, but I am gonna, I don't want it to look brand new. My boxer, she barks at everything. There's nobody that's gonna bring a delivery here without us knowing about it. So I'm gonna take a little watered down black and just barely touch it. Just kind of move my brush around. If I think I have too much, I can, you know, take my finger and that's all I'm doing to make it look a little bit worn. I have that copper sitting here that I used on the front. I'm gonna put just a touch, not much. And then, see that? Just touches of it and then kind of tap it in. So it's not very much, but it is there. And if you turn it a certain way, you see it. I'm just using what was left on my brush. And as it dries, you'll see, you know, little things that maybe you want to touch up. Like, for example, this, if I want it to be really perfect, I would fix that. Um, The good thing about most of my projects is they're fun things. They're not obviously, obviously not fine art or anything major. So, you know, having it just cute and whimsical and a little bit messy is perfect for me because I don't want, I want it to be fun. I don't want to be frustrated. I don't want to feel like I can't do something well, but this type of art, it's, it serves its purpose of being relaxing and fun and not fussy. Just going back over this with a little of that silver. What are y'all thinking? Oh, hey, Char. Thank you. Christina, you like the patina look? Yes, weathering it. Good point. It's what getting weathered. <gasps> Christina has a 49 truck working to restore. How awesome. So is it hard to find parts and stuff for a truck that old? I would think it'd have to be. Thanks, Stephanie. How are you? Good to see you today. Or, you know, see you on here anyway. I'll go back when I see, you know, once it starts drying, you can see little places that I've got a little silver on there. And I'll cover it up or right here, I might wanna touch it up. Just kind of make a pass and see what you think. And like I said, this is just how I do mine. You are free to do whatever you like. And that's the beauty of it is they don't have to be the same. They don't have to be matching. You can have the freedom to do it however you like. I typically make this more dirty and rusty, but I'm not on this one because, I, like I said, I kind of like the little bit of a classy look it has. This one has got a lot of the dirt and rust around here, a lot on the hood. So, you know, again, just depending on what what your look you're going for then do it how you want um, the last thing I do is take sealer 
And if you ordered a truck from me, you've got a cup of it. Um, they, I use Mod Podge, and they have matte or they have gloss. I have enjoyed the matte better, um, but gloss will give it a really shiny look. So use, you know, you can use whichever you prefer when you seal yours. Um, but it just, you brush it on. I'll show you on the hood. I'm not gonna do the whole thing because I do want it to dry really well before I do it. But I'll just take a brush, any brush, and I usually pour this out, but you take, it's, it's really basically what it is. It's almost like a thin glue. I know there's a recipe on Pinterest for Mod Podge, so you don't even have to buy it. You can make it if you have all-purpose glue. But you're just brushing it on, and you know, I, it looks white when you put it on, but it obviously dries very clear. You can't see anything, but you're just brushing it on everywhere. I'd go over the whole, I'd go over every surface on here when I'm done. Put one good coat like this. You don't want any globs like that. Obviously you want to smooth it out best you can. But if you see, see how it looks real streaky? That's okay because when it dries it will not look that way. Anyway, that's all you do to seal it. I will do two coats of this. Um, so I let one coat completely dry really well, and then I'll go back and do another coat um, all over the whole entire thing. And then that will seal it. If you wanna do a third coat, you can. Um, it, you know, it's not a bad idea since it, we want these to last, and I'm gonna bring you up. We want these to last, hey Julie. Um, yes, let's see. Actually, I think they all have, they do, they, all of mine right now have matte because I like the matte farmhouse look for mine. So see, oh, and you can put a wreath. I'll show you how to do this wreath. In fact, I will give you a little printable that you can print out but let me show you how I make this. It's so easy. Let's see. I'm gonna put you back down so you can see. I do have a finished black truck Nidra. Um, I will have to go get it and take a picture of it for you because it's not in here. It's in my, in my kitchen. I already put it out. <laughs> So I'm gonna show you an easy way to make a wreath, and I'll just do it on this one. So I take one of these bottles that I have, trying not to drop anything, so I'll take some chalk. White chalk is fine, I just, this is what I grabbed and I will go along this paint bottle. Or if you don't have a paint bottle, you might look at the size of a medicine bottle or just anything that you have in the kitchen or somewhere that might be round. Or if you're good at drawing a circle or you can print a circle. And then I just lay it down on where I want the wreath and then just kind of press it to where I get that chalky circle. It's very faint. Can you see it? It's very faint, but I can see it. And I don't know if you can, but you can also trace around, trace around your bottle with just a little pencil real lightly. Let me get some green and I'll show you how easy these are to paint on. I like to have um, two colors of green. What I'm gonna do is 
is take the green and it's like a little C and then go back, just meet them together. So it's like a little comma, little comma, and it makes a leaf. I know it's hard to tell on a napkin, but I'll show you. And then I just go around that circle, kind of alternating which way I make the leaf. What do y'all think of that? Do you like the wreath on there? It is very faint. I'll hold it up. I wonder if I can zoom this in. I don't know. I don't, I don't know how. Try that green, but it's, in fact, I'll use black because I can go back over it just so y'all can see. So hopefully this will show up better. See that? So just a little comma, little comma come together. Fill it in a little. So that's how to do your wreath. And then I'll practice my letter. You know, if I do a B or something, I'll practice it and then just go for it and kind of wing it and put it on my truck. But you can certainly print, you know, use um, Word and just put a B or whatever your initial is or somebody you want to give it to and then print it out and copy it on onto your truck and then go over it with paint. And I know I showed on a different tutorial how to do that real easily with really no supplies needed. So let me show you. So if I wanted do a B. Can y'all see? I would write my B. So that's what I want on my truck. Then I'm going to turn it over and I can still see that faintly and I'm going to just do this. And then I'll put, lay it down on my truck and trace it. And then when I lift this up, you can see the bee. And it's good enough that um, you can just paint right over it with your paint. So there's ways of, of doing these things without going and buying a lot of stuff. So um, if you ever have any questions or you want some tips for things like that, just follow me on Art and Grace and um, I'll give you all those tips or message me and I can tell you. I am going to draw for a free truck and you can choose whether you want one that's already painted or if you want a kit and you want to paint it yourself. But I'm gonna do that um, probably in about an hour because I do need to print off the names and cut them out. I just wasn't prepared for that this morning. I don't know what I was thinking. So it won't be live right this second, but I will go live and we'll do some drawings. I have some other stuff I wanna give away too. So thank you guys for um, sticking with me. This is a long one, but it's really fun and I love how they turn out. So what'd you think of the blue? Do you like the blue? Of all the ones you've seen, what do you like best? So there's the blue, there's the aqua, there's the white kind of creamy color or black. What is y'all's favorite so far? 
And let me see if I have that burgundy right here handy. This is one that I did last year. It's a little mini one and it's got the tree and it lights up inside. It's not bright, it's so tiny that it doesn't really show very well, but there is a place to put those little things. So closer to Christmas, I might, I might order some of these if you guys would be interested. Thanks guys. Yes, Nidra, I can't wait to see. You love the white one? It's like the real farmhouse look, isn't it? Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. I did. So Debbie, um, the one is a special neon. I think I gave you all that I had. Um, no, here it is, but it is out. It's a special neon. So if you choose to use it, then I want to see, but if not use it on something else, because you have to be brave. It's bright, <laughs> but it'd be really cute. So you like the eggshell? I'm seeing a lot of and aqua. Yeah, aqua's year-round too. Good. Yeah. Okay, guys. Um, just be watching a little bit. Even if you're not present, even if you're not on the live when I announce, I'll get it to you, so no worries. But thank you so much again. Um, it is so much more fun to paint with people and getting some feedback and comments, and I'm always open for suggestions and um, again, questions, so let me know. I would love to see you over on Art and Grace. And again, um, you can ask me if you want any information on my group that's called Grace because I'm taking founder, founder, um, founder members this week only. After that, it's closed. It'll open on August 22nd and then it will be at the higher rate. So let me know if you might be interested in that. All right. Yes, I can't wait to see who wins and then what they do with it. All right, guys, thank you again. I appreciate you all. Talk to you soon. Bye.